so deaf here and uh, you can see I'm working on water cooling on this motor setup oh well, not this motor setup but you know for my upcoming new motor uh, let's go through the system and take a look at it so here's a reservoir there's water in there and it's plumbed out goes through the frame into this water pump it's a little electric water pump it's like bought off eBay it's a couple bucks so yeah um, and that gets plumbed into mm, it gets plumbed into the motor uh, I'm using copper tubing wound around the uh, the fins and that just goes around there it goes around four different or the fins as you can see over here and comes out here into the radiator yeah this is a PC cooling radiator it's a little 80 millimeter one but I'm gonna see if it works once the setup actually runs and stuff and I have it set up on my new motor which is uh, this chainsaw one right here uh, that's gonna go on here to replace my old motor which blew uh, you, you can see that's my old cylinder head that I started the project on but yeah and then from here it circulates back into this uh, the reservoir again so let me fire this thing up and show you guys how how it works so it runs off of one lithium ion battery you can see it it pumps and yeah you can sort of see it going through the uh, tubes kind of hard to hold the connection together with one hand while recording but yeah water's going through it uh, at the moment, I put in boiling water to see if everything will exchange heat. Uh, but, yeah, cylinder head is warm, and uh, the radiator is also warm. And the temperature of the water has gone down substantially. Because um, it was boiling at one point, which was around you know, 200 and some degrees. But it's actually warm enough for me to just dip my finger in before it'll pretty much scald me. But yeah, this system pumps water and uh, it, it seems to be working now. But once I actually get the whole setup on my bike, uh, I'll update on that. So yeah, that, that's it for this water cooling project.